Guys, welcome back to our Studio ZSL podcast and welcome back to a special edition of Patreon. Guys, this is the Silver Badge. <laughs> some of these are exclusive, but I want to give you some of my exclusive material to see if you guys enjoy what the hell I'm talking about. But today is not about me. Oh my God. Congratulations to my good old ex-student Y. She's crazy as hell. Uh, I'm so grateful. Uh, she got into Griffith University out there in Australia. So we first, yes. we first must celebrate. We must celebrate. So, okay, why? So you're going to Australia. Why are you going to Australia? Um, yeah, yeah. I went, you know, I went to Australia last year and I liked it. And then I see the, I saw the conservatorium there. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So then I changed my mind about the cause of the expenses too. I know, do that place. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're actually doing this live on YouTube. So if you want to see my crazy ass on YouTube, you can. But no, no, honestly, Australia far better than America in terms of I lived there for a year. And when I was there, you can't compare Melbourne. You Well, you were in Brisbane. Yeah, and it would be in Brisbane. It's located okay. in Brisbane. Yeah, Queensland. Have you been to Melbourne or Sydney yet? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Now, Sydney. Yeah, man. Sydney, they got the deadliest, like, snakes and the deadliest spiders and stuff. I had to, like, get yeah, into big fights that. with... Mm. Oh, my God. Just but, horrible. But in uh, Sydney and Melbourne have, like, many Thai people live there. And I think it's good. I mean, they go to Brisbane and, you know, practice English. I mean... Yeah. They, they don't even practice English. Why? That's the problem. So the thing is, if you <laughs> go to another country, it's like me. AJ, did you, or AJ is my nickname, of course, for all of you out there. AJ, yeah. did you want to come to Thailand to meet foreigners? Hell no. I came to Thailand to talk to Thai people. You know what I mean? I just, it defeats the purpose yeah. of traveling outside. So for everyone out there, I get it. You guys like your niche groups. You want to be able to communicate in your language. That's cool. But if you just hang around Chinese people, you know, be around Chinese people, eat with Chinese people, take showers with Chinese people. Example for my Chinese folks out there, because mm -hmm. I saw that as a massive problem in Melbourne. Lots of Chinese students, they're terrified of talking to anyone outside of mm -hmm. their uh, their origin. So that could be a big problem. So when you go out there, don't, don't, yeah. And the thing is, Brisbane, did you meet any Thai people while you were out there? Not so much, not so many. No, but stay, they're still stay away from them. Thai, Thai stay restaurant. away from them. Yeah, you I remember you when I heard Thai. Thai, I was like, keep quiet, like, no, oh, don't, don't show, don't expose myself. <laughs> and, and if they say, oh, katona kap, katona kap, that means excuse me in Thai. Be like, oh, yeah, wait, yeah. wait, uh, what is that language? Oh my God, where are you from? I'm from Africa. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Papua New Guinea, to be honest with you. I'm from the the new, new the Indonesian island. Yeah. Oh my God. What yeah. did you say? <laughs> that that be funny <laughs> though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so guys, man, this is the fun stuff that I like doing. Just like you know, just basically just laying it out there. Um. Big thanks to, oh, I don't know who that is. Someone said something. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah. So, um, oh, yeah, I got to share everything. I forgot about that. I just don't want my video to go out. Who cares? Here we go. Why? What are we going to talk today about? We're going to talk about movies. Movies. That's yeah. right. So, for IELTS students out there, this is very good for you. For anyone out there who just wants to babble on about some movies and hear the mindset of someone here in Thailand, this is going to be a sexy podcast for you. So here we go. We got ourselves a little bit of a dilemma here. All right. Basically, we got numbers one through ten. One not important. Ten very important. We got quite a few categories. And then we have some stories. But first and foremost, let's talk real quick about the movie we watched. Remember the movie yeah. we watched called Fences? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't remember the movie, but I you watched it one time. The is movie it, with that Del Washington, the black folks, get you know what I mean? No, get out. What is it? No, yeah. no, yeah, no, 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 the fences. Fences is with Denzel Washington. You know the black <laughs> people, the soccer <laughs> player at the end. Yeah. How old are you? Are you like are you 80? What's going on here, Dr. No, I can't remember really about the story, but I, I noticed about the black folks. 
Wow, fantastic. All right, anyways, well, forget <laughs> that. Uh, okay, so here we go, Why uh, Stars and supporting actors. On a scale one through 10, one, who cares? One, I care a lot. Where would you rate that in terms of deciding a movie that you would like to watch? Um, again, please. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, now, on a scale no, one- No, like, you mean like the support um, actors, support, what is it? Uh, uh, the main star, right? So a lot of people, yeah. they watched Fast and Furious because Paul Walker, and then oh, Paul yeah. Walker ended up going on. And then next, you know, the next one, I don't know if it was five, six, or seven, maybe six or seven, one of those two, I think. And then Paul Walker, no, there was no Paul Walker. Uh, but Vin Diesel and The Rock, and people like, really love it. Yeah, people should to watch because of the main actor. Boom. So do you do the same thing? Well, not really, but like, but if that, the actor that I really like, like he owned it for me, I was interested in, oh, this maybe, I don't know, watch it. Like Captain America, <laughs> and but like I'm a fan of Marvel, you know. I don't think you are. You know, like you're I want was... Marvel, or you're a fan of Captain America. <laughs> Marvel, but I start with Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I hate you not, so, not so much. Wonderful. Not so much for me. Mm, I, I I look in the the plot first. Like the story was about is a. Uh, did what is it the kind of the movie that i like like you know avenger or is it action or science uh mm -hmm. science fiction or something then i, I will watch but not so okay. much that it's gonna be like this one and i gonna watch it okay did you watch endgame yes i did yeah i watched that and I thought, did somebody hurry up and upload it the ending on youtube i watched the ending i know everything so sad Oh, I won't spoil anything out there. Well, you know, the movie's been out for almost a month already. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, like, I was like three weeks after it uh, was in the cinema. And like I, I heard, I never angry at that anyone who spoiled. And I never feel like, so what? Like, you know, spoiled. And I just know maybe that's good. And I never feel like angry as much at this time because I know that, you know, there will be some one die just for people who never watch it haven't watched it yet and someone dying in here and like I know fuss it you know and that, that made me feel a bit you know I know that this gonna happen so it was that it wasn't that fun when I watched it so I like for this movie I feel angry when I heard someone spoil yeah so I had a feeling like, I understand why people get angry when someone spoils some you know scene in a movie to them ah uh, okay yeah. okay yeah, I remember there was one time, um, I don't know, it was a long time ago, but my, I think it was my brother, was somebody the was in the theater, and there was a guy, there was a guy, and I said it next, can you hear me, can you hear me, can you hear me, can you hear me? Yeah, it, it there's a score, like, alien, alien sounds or something. Oh, really? Okay, so do I sound clear now? Okay, 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 yeah, it is a piece of, yeah, yeah, but be live sucks. <laughs> Uh, this this whole this entire thing sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, and so you had someone in the theater saying, "Okay, so what's gonna happen next is okay, so when this scene, this <laughs> is, and then over here no, and all." Really yeah. What? Oh, give, you, give me give me some of that. Like, have you go watch the cinema and heard people talking? I threw a big bottle of water at someone before. I opened it up really? and I said, "You know what? Yep, bam." No. Like no, no, it's terrible. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, you know what? Because here in Thailand, well, okay, so let's talk about pet peeves real quick. A pet peeve mm -hmm. is basically something that makes you annoyed, something that mm -hmm. people do in the cinema. Yeah. And in Thailand, they are so technologically driven that mm -hmm. men and women – would just open their phone up, blaring, blaring screen. You could light up yeah. the entire cinema looking at their, I'd be like, hey, oh man, that's what the ugly side, I cannot reveal that ugly side to you guys because the ugly side is only meant for Thai people. I cannot reveal that here, I'm very sorry. But yeah, that ugly side comes out and I go all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So anyways, give me one thing that really annoys you. Mm. I think when I heard people talking and you know I'm Thai and so when they call it talking Thai and I, I heard everything but when I watched the in game luckily I watched late night movie 
And so not many people in the cinema. And I said like away from people, but I still heard them talking like, but far out there, out there, I still like, I can't understand, but like, you know, you, you hear it, the noises from there. And I was like, what the, you know, like, why, why are you talking? We were watching movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that's why I want to bring one of the Songkran uh, water guns. You know what I mean? Like the water gun mm -hmm. you have, Songkran. Yeah. I want to take that into a movie, and like you know, be like, hey, anyone who anyone who you know <laughs> wants to talk, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. Just god damn, sh for just two hours, can y'all just shut up? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but yeah. that's why I don't go to the movies often. If I go to a packed movie, mm -hmm. my popcorn mm -hmm. isn't going to be used for my stomach. It's going to be used to be hitting <laughs> other people's heads. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't watched the movie in America or in Australia yet. Oh, in Australia is one, but it's like very small and no one's talking. Maybe there will be, you know, there will be some bad people around the world. So it, maybe it happens sometime, but the, the like, what is it? Um, the time that I watched, people mm. was so nice. So I didn't get any annoying from them. Yeah. Okay. In tights. Lot. It's a little bit different, but I mean, Amer of course, America was my worst experience ever. But uh, oh my god, that's when I was young. I was real young, and there were just a lot of black people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna just mm -hmm. throw shame and dirt on my black folks or anything. You know, my color folks. I don't like saying black because we brown, right? But oh mm -hmm. my god, it was the it was a Fat Albert. It was a cartoon from a long time ago, mm -hmm. and they came out with this new movie, and I watched it. I think either the day before or on the day of Christmas and yeah. there was nothing but not not black folks but you know the ignorant ones yeah. it was a party in the theater it was so loud I didn't know. <laughs> oh my god you know what I mean I was I just uh -huh. couldn't believe it I couldn't believe what I was yeah you know but anyways um that was 14 years ago when I was a kid yeah so yeah. huh you just can't go to yeah, you know, I don't know, but Arizona is great. Arizona doesn't matter what color, what origin, whatever it is, mm -hmm. people have more etiquette there. Other people, like oh, yeah. in Los Angeles, they have no etiquette. New York, they have zero etiquette. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Anyways, why? What's your favorite genre of movie? Genre, that's a good one. Yeah, um. Genre. <laughs> that's sexy. Um, yeah, as I told you earlier, I. My favorite, maybe science fiction, but I also like Avenger. I like what's okay. it? Uh, Journey of this to the center of the Earth. Oh that. my God, that, oh I my God, for first some first reason, one. I love it. Yeah, the first one, I love The second one, you know, they have like part one. The first one was like- With Brendan Fraser, right? Yeah, and the second one was like The Rock. The oh, Rock. Rock. I think I remember watching the one only with. No, I think okay. I watched both. I watched both. But That's right. Was, the uh, the actor for the first first one. Sorry, <laughs> he was. I just. <laughs> yeah, you're um, spitting all over the place. Calm down, okay. <laughs> the, first, <laughs> the first one. He he's the actor in the Mummy as well. Is that the yeah, movie? Brendan Fraser. That's my man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's his name. Yeah. That yeah, I like that one. Movie. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I watched it many times. The one <laughs> with the rock. Oh man, I can't remember which one was better, but I'm pretty sure the one with Brendan Fraser. That one was really, really, really good. Very really good. I like that one. Yeah, and then the rock. Um, and then there was a girl in that movie. What was the girl's name? Was that Selena Gomez in that movie? No. No, some no. girl. No, oh, okay. I don't even know who she is. Uh, but okay, all right. So you like those types? You know what? I don't really watch those types of movies and whatnot. But what's your favorite Disney movie? What is it? Disney. Oh, Disney. Um, Tangled. Huh? Tangled. You know Tangled? Oh, what it's like Rock Himself. What? Like Cinderella? No, it's yeah, kind of a Rock Himself. Has the long hair. <laughs> you don't Tinker, know Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. Oh, Tanglet. The hell is a Tanglet? Tanglet. Um, uh, T okay. is her, her name was Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Is it, is it German? Is it German? Right? Yeah. 
Germany. No, it's here. Ten. Okay, show me a picture. Oh, ten gold. Ten gold. Look, you can't even say the word. Let me see. Put it up. Is that a wrong. goddamn horse? Tangle. Yeah. You don't well, I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, one, man. One Disney, well, well, Disney, one movie I like too. Um, it's a long movie, like mm-hmm. long, long time ago. It's called Parents, Parents Trap. I think I've heard of that. Yes, I'm sure I've yeah, heard of that. Yeah, it's that about long, long the twins. Ago. Girls, they live apart. Her parents divorce, and then one live with the father, and the other one live with the mother. And then mm-hmm. the girls came to the both parents send them to the same camp. Like you know, the father live in America in where is it California, and then the mother live in England. Mm-hmm. And then they send the kids to this camp, like girl camp. And so they met, and so they figure out that they are actually a twins. And so mm-hmm. they switch places. The one that never seen the mother, she, you know, this guy pretend that she was the other one because they're twins. Ah, because right, they're right, 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 right. Okay, okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah, mine is Mulan. 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 You, oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, of course, that was one of my favorite. Now, Lion King, again, I was only about the seven concert. years old. The, the, the movie, the movie. They're remaking it, apparently, this year, right? Yeah, I think so. You know, they have like a cartoon. It's a movie too, but not like, and they made remake it and use the real P, real movie. Oh, okay, okay. So they're using like that, what is it called? That CGI, something like that, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To remake it, to make it. Like, Avatar, kind of like Avatar. Real. Right. Yeah, right, but, right. but more real, like just use people. And okay. just like a movie, mm. but well, which I, one I you, you like? And if what is the like the cartoon, like animation, or you like in the real people? Oh well, the real people that hasn't came out yet, right? That's going to be coming out soon. But I, I'm sure that they they made Mulan already, like long time ago. But the is Lion right? King soon, right? Okay, I think it's going to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's the one that's coming out this year. Mm. I didn't hear about that yeah. Mulan one though. Okay. All right, now the soundtrack. Speaking of Mulan, that's why I loved it so much oh, yeah. because the soundtrack was phenomenal. And I think, mm. I remember I talked in another podcast about the two movies, the space movies. You had Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Interstellar. And then you had Martian with Matt Damon. Yeah. So Martian, he was stuck on Mars. Oh, Interstellar. yeah. Interstellar. And he grows the grow tomato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, And so one, again, the soundtrack was by Hans Zimmer, and he's one of the greatest composers ever. Mm-hmm. That soundtrack made that movie Interstellar just unbelievable. But Martian, they had disco music in the movie. How the hell is someone going to be so relaxed on a planet by himself listening to disco? I mean, it just co- I think the soundtracks can make and break movies almost immediately, man. That was a re- yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, when we talk about soundtracks, example, Get Out. Yeah. They had the you know the creepy music. All right. Yes. yes. Yeah. The, you know the, 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 that, that, the movie and it's me really exactly. So just imagine if Get Out they're playing disco music. You can't take that shit serious. You know what I mean? Excuse my French. But yeah, you know what I, I don't know. So yeah, what about yeah. soundtrack? How important is it for you? I think it's very... For many people, soundtrack can make the, the movie, you know, like, be... What is it? Can, can I say remarkable or be memorable? Memorable. Okay, memorable. Yeah. How, how so? Mm. How so? How so? You can just have the mail. You know, I study music. And when the melody is touched, so you can heard it just by this memory, and then you know, oh, that's the, it's from this movie. And what is it? You what? What you talk when when you are oh, catchy? When the there music, you go, catchy, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it 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 good. I mean, for the people who made the movie, and if you really find the music to go with the movie, and you make that people can, you know, remember this song. And this song is in this movie, and you know, I, 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 I like it. I, but I, I can't. 
what the what the song that I watched Endgame, and I don't really like the, the song that they used to open it. I, I just don't think it's so well appropriate. You don't but think like, it's appropriate? appropriate. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. But like with the Infinity Wars or Advent Avengers, like the part before. I like it. I think it's good. good. Oh. They have actually the soundtrack, but they didn't use that soundtrack in the end game. You know what they used? Never heard of it before. Oh. Maybe in the movie, but I never heard it. But this time they decided to use that this song in here, but it's not like the soundtrack that they use in many like Avengers or you know, any other part. Before. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, I mean, if you speak about the soundtrack, I remember when Aven Avengers: Infinity War came out. I remember that soundtrack, especially for the you know the movie preview. Uh, the what is it? What do you call that? The the, the trailer. There we go. The trailer, um, it was just amazing. Just like when Jurassic World ended up yes. debuting after mm. five million years. That's a beautiful, mm. absolutely. Yeah. That, you you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It sounds very nature. And when you heard it, it's, it's really jungle. It's really like, you know, you are in the jungle. Have, because they, they opened with the melody, it's really grand and big and, and very nature when you heard it. Mm -hmm. beautiful and, and they put beautiful. absolutely and they put it at mm -hmm. perfect times too especially when they first open it up and you know the the song goes yeah. to its climax and da -da 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 -da, you know what i mean because of course i used to be in band yeah. you're in piano so you know a lot of it a lot about about you know uh, music and whatnot so uh okay okay now here we go how about reviews mm. film reviews how about film reviews so do you actually listen to the reviews and the recommendations? Example, Mad Max Fury. That movie had maybe about a 98% percentile on Rotten Tomatoes. But when I actually watched it in an hour in, I'm like, okay, so there's just going to be fight, 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 fight. Cool. A bunch of people dying. That's all this movie's comp comprised of. And they were like, oh, that was such a wonderful movie. But why? What? Because it was just a bunch of action, like Fast and Furious. That's mm. just called dumb action to me. No offense. Okay, my opinion mm. is my opinion. But um, I don't really listen to the reviews online and yeah. recommendations. I can't also listen to those too because someone's like might be my super dislike. So what yes. do you do? What do you do when you um, choose movies? I. I don't read reviews before I watch it. I just read, I just look at the trailer and if I like it, I like it. But then, you know, we, we all on Facebook. And right, when you right, see right. for the end game, it's really popular. And I heard people, I have to like stop using Facebook for like a week and like try not to, you know, go on it because I don't want to see the spoil or people said. And, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't look at the review before I watch the movie, but I do look after. So if I have a question and what and I, I will go find reviews after that, you know, people will say because I already watched. So yeah. Right. And and I agree with you that you said some good reviews. It's not mm -hmm. good. It's like maybe I, I don't like it. Right. And I, I, right. I saw people um they comment uh about the end game movie and mm -hmm. some people say, Oh, it's really bad. Like I um, disappointed, you know, but like, and, and then, then I, I, I read it and I don't feel that they really get the movie. And I just know one of my friends, for example, she talked to me and she said like, um, she, she don't, uh, what is it? Not feel, but I, I think she doesn't really enjoy with the movie, but she's, she watched it. She understand all this and this, but she not really had a feeling with the movie. You know, and then I knew that she never watched the part before, like the other movies that gonna lead to this part. That's why she never had like she never know the uh the backstory, the story about each character, and it's right. really epic to the one that you are watching. So I think it's right. really important. So like that's why I'm saying.
happen and you know mm. yeah okay <clears throat> yeah i oh man it's like what is it a lady uh, that I teach, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, an executive. She's like, oh, I watched Endgame, but I don't understand anything. I'm like, what, why, why don't you understand? You know, Thai people, they don't say understand. They mm -hmm. say understand, you know what I mean? Yeah, I so, <laughs> <laughs> But she's like, oh, this is my first Marvel movie I watched. Marvel? I'm like, in 11 years since Iron Man 1 came out, this is the only Marvel movie you watched? The mm. last movie, the last movie out of all 19 movies. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. It's tough. You're not going to sit there and watch probably about 75 hours worth of movies before you watch Endgame, right? But, mm. um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I watched the Captain Marvel before I watched this one because I knew and, and how was that? How was Captain Marvel? Tell me about that because I had my doubts. Yeah. Mm, I think it's pretty good, but I think that her power is a bit <laughs> like she can win anything. Like, you know, she doesn't need the other Avengers. Avengers. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit funny to me. Like, okay. And also in the end game, she is the person who, like, everyone almost, you know, but then Captain Marvel. There she go. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> and she just killed everything. I think I saw that in one of the bit. It was crazy. I was like, whoa, look at that. She just <laughs> yeah. flew in and whipped the hell out of everyone. I was like. Yeah, it's just her. I can't, uh, yeah. <laughs> have, have you watched it? No, no, no. I just saw like a 10 minute clip of the, the hell. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. saw Iron Man and, you know, mm -hmm. Spider-Man. They all crying. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Because I want to, I knew that Captain Marvel would be in the end game. So I want to, you know, know where she, like how, how, how uh, she become the uh, Captain Marvel, you know, right. the background her. And I know it's what in this movie. And so, yeah, I watched it before I watched the end game. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. So a bonus before I let you go, because we got crazy days ahead of us. It's funny because we're out here in Thailand and stuff like that. Um, so... You've been hearing the entire Game of Thrones, uh, the insanity, the fiasco that's happening. Do you watch the Game of Thrones? No, I haven't watched it yet. But I heard it's really it, famous, like people talk about it a lot. Uh, oh, so I, I'm thinking, I'm like, seasons already, right? How many again? Damn, like eight seasons, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to, like, you know. It's gonna take time. Every time I watch a movie, it can't stop. Like, and I know it's really good, so I need to have like really have my free time. Like, you know, I'm kind of person. Like, if I have a movie that I really want and it's really like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? And I can't stop. Like, sometimes I watch something like four in the morning, and it's with my health, you know. I had that with the series, uh, The Rock, the first series of Ballers. I don't know if it's still on today, but I watched the first uh, season of that. Of course, I don't watch stuff like that anymore because, you know, I'd rather learn and, like, build all my projects instead of sitting mm -hmm. there. But um, that was one thing that I watched till, like, 1130 at night one time. I said, ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, stop, stop. Yesterday was mm -hmm. another day. So I came across this game with one of my five-year-old students. He's like, teacher, let's play this game. And it was called Plants vs. Zombies or something like that. Uh, yeah, I know that one. Oh, <laughs> hell no. I was hooked. Oh my God, I came home. I said, man, I ain't doing no podcast. Y'all stay away. Come on, zombies. I'm going to kill y'all. It's crazy. Some of this stuff is addicting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. But um, Game I of Thrones. Oh, what was and that? I, no, I just download one game too and I'm adding it. You know, I go win this level and then keep going, you know, oh, level four. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and then you tell yourself, you tell yourself that false hope, like, oh no, okay, just one more level. This just game. one <laughs> yeah. more level. No, no, no. Okay, come on. Just two more levels. I promise. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. already. People knocking on your mm -hmm. door saying, get the hell yeah, off the Mac, you know? So Yeah. But That's yeah, Game of, <laughs> it, it's 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 interesting because Game of Thrones, you could I found a clip, right? And I'm yeah. like, okay, so Game of Thrones, you guys are the best, right? Show me how you're the best. So I went on YouTube and I found this clip and the clip, I don't know what episode, what, what, but it was season eight because apparently they mm -hmm. just uploaded yeah. it a week ago. 
And I love it because I love the suspense, right? So they're getting ready to fight, but they're fighting mm -hmm. at night. So they're like, okay, let's set these swords on fire. Okay, charge. And they have these things. I can't pronounce them, but they're called trebuchets or trebuckets, right? And they launch these big fireballs into the air. So mm. you got these fireballs just flying over. You got these charging, you know, <laughs> these native people running with these burning swords. Yeah. And next thing you know, you hear the noise from the other side. And by the time it's here, there's this big, ugly, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Boom, five, not, not even five minutes. It was like a minute and a half. All of them are dead. And then some of them come running back. The horses come running back scared. The people are just like blood everywhere. And everyone's like, we're going to die, aren't we? <laughs> I thought this defense, the buildup was magnificent. It was mm -hmm. just spectacular. So, uh, yeah, but I won't watch that series. No, thanks. I watched Spartacus. That was good enough. That was that was plenty of uh, the pop pop too. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, no one oh, knows yeah. what pop pop yeah. is, but... Oh, when I watched Spartacus, I was like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. Anyway, so why? Okay. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to give you just one last thing. Yeah. What is the most, what are the three most important elements of a movie for you to decide to watch a movie? Um, well, good question. Yes, really. Yes, really good question. Thank mm, you. And I am pretty against myself right now because you know that <laughs> I think question already asked about the main actor, and actually, yes, the main actor. Captain like if I, I know, no, if I, I know people in the movie or the, um the picture, the photo, the plot. Uh -huh. or what is it about? You know the movie and. Uh -huh. Mm, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. it. Okay. The plot, the main character, Captain America. Wait, Captain America, the plot, and one other thing. What, what, what was that? The other one? Uh, uh, the length, uh, special effects and visuals, maybe? Is it the length? No, not so much. So I ain't watching no three hour movie, so that's why I haven't watched Endgame. I ain't got time for that. Give me 10 minutes. I Sum it up in 10 minutes. No, I Perfect. love it because, you know, the last part of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's the most of it. And maybe, like, the, the, the picture. If, like, if the action movie, then I will see, like, how good it is. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. How about right. you? Uh, woo! I need a storyline. I need a storyline, and I need imagination. You know yeah. what I mean? Every horror movie that has come out in the last 10 years are pure garbage. Mm. The Annabelle, The Conjuring, they need to put us, us, they need to have a, they need to embody us and say, what can freak the hell out of people? Mm. Something very real in a series, right? Mm. So it's kind of like going into a, you know, something called Haunted House and then Haunted House 1 and going through these places and not showing any ghosts. No one wants to see a ghost like, oh, and you see the big black mouth and the eyes are all, no one's scared of that bullshit anymore. Excuse my friend. Yeah. I'm done with all that. You know what I mean? Get, scare the hell out of me. You know what I mean? Close, and, and they can do this. And this is why Get Out was so great. Although it wasn't much horror. You know what I mean? It was just like crazy oh, suspense building up. What was that? The movie that there was in the house, the, the man. I can't remember that he was- The black kid. man and the white girl, why? Do you know the black man and the white girl? No, it was the guy and the girl. He had to go visit the family at a very big estate. Yes, and they're like creepy. You know, crazy people, you know, they got black slaves and it, it's just crazy. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. The crazy yeah. lady, she was like, nice to meet you. You know, she was crazy as hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I still remember that. That yeah. was good, though. That was good. I still need, now, you know, he made another movie called Us. It's called Us. Yes. Now, you could, I, I, it was in the movies here now because Thailand is starting to show more movies that, you know, they have, the, the main star is like African-American or whatever. They're starting yeah, to show yeah. a lot of these yeah. movies versus like 10 years ago, five years ago. Mm -hmm. 
So this movie came out in the theater. I haven't watched it yet, but yes, it's a horror. I thought I sent you the tra- I sent you the trailer. Why? It was like the the black family. They went to some oh, lakeside yeah. place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I when gotta is it- watch that. Well, it's already out. It's been out for like two months already. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you more, you more. But luckily, no one knows <laughs> what that is except five people. They don't promote that much, I think. Yeah, they didn't promote it out here. Yeah, normally when they promote, I don't know what they promote. Out Mm. Mm. I'm happy though because Thailand is starting to take it to the next level. They're starting to accept, like, okay, we're gonna promote Bad Boys too. Okay, so Will Smith, no problem, lead character on the BTS. That's really, really important for these people because now they're going to get accustomed to seeing people like me and other people around the world, so that they just don't look at life like that. You know what I mean? So mm. Black Panther, I felt, was the big, big coming out party for Thailand. I'm not gonna say China. I heard there's still some, uh, I got the I that ain't my problem. What's his name again? Sam. No, no. Is this Sam? But I remember he Smith. Sam Smith? No, no, no. Smith. Something Smith. I'm so tall. Oh, you more Mark. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You put on that Thai accent, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, why, man? Thank you so much for joining me in this fun field conversation. And you know what? I love bringing people on from all over the world. So, again, guys, this is a podcast. Of course, you guys see it on YouTube. You guys see it live. This is in podcast form. This is the type of exclusive content that I like to put on over there in, uh, on my Patreon. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And man, why, thank you so much for tuning in. A big congratulations again. Well, I'm so you. excited about you. Uh, you still got six months to stay in this this sauna, this sauna yeah. of a city. <laughs> oh, no you're, no, you're not here where I am. You're out there. Mm-hmm. So maybe it might feel a little bit better, but uh, yeah. Uh, same. Yeah, it's still terrible. Yeah, that's a shame. Thank you for bringing me here again, and I'm really excited about going in Australia. I've been nervous, I'm actually. No Thai friends, okay? No Thai friends. I want all foreign friends. That's it. If you see someone Thai, say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm from I'm from Samoa. You know, us people <laughs> in Samoa, we very big. You know, just just do something. Wear the Samoan the Samoan outfit and everything, you know? <laughs> kind of look, look yeah. Samoan sometimes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, again, I'm going to bring you on, of course, before you go out there so we could, you know, you know, have a nice uh, yeah. share. Yeah, for some more difficult things to improve your English. That's my little shake. So anyways, <laughs> thanks again, Y. Thank you. And you're okay. very, very welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. She'll be back, guys. So thank you all for the reactions. We had quite a few reactions. We had constant viewers throughout the entire time. And we did say we did get a hi from someone, but his name is Lawai Chai. I don't know what is Lawai Chai. So uh, I, I'm guessing that's Thai. That's got to be Lawai. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who no, it's Thai. Is. Don't know. Oh, it's not, it's not Thai. Yeah, he might be from uh, Papua New Guinea. So uh, anyways, and thank you so much again. And guys, if you enjoyed it, share it. If you shared it, that means I liked it. That means you get a big thank you from me. Uh, again, stay tuned for more. And again, check out all my platforms because I put out consistent content on a regular basis. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host along with Crazy Y, nickname Y, over and out.